Today I'm answering the age-old question, which is quicker to pump your paddleboard up, the standard manual pump or an electric sub pump? I've teamed up with Outdoor Masters and they've sent me over their new and improved electric sub pump, the Catchalot 2S, to put for his paces and test out. But before we see it in action, I'm gonna give it the good old-fashioned way and see how long that takes. Right, now for the hard work, I'm actually gonna give it some and see how quick I can get this pumped up. I've never timed it before, but I reckon it's gonna take about 10 minutes. My heart rate's floating around sort of mid 70s, probably just a bit of a pre-race anticipatory nerves. We'll see what the heart rate's there at the end as well. I'm gonna set a timer on my phone. Now let's see how long it takes. Three, two, one, go. This is gonna be a slog. And it's actually quite warm today, just hoping it doesn't rain. Two minutes gone. Ooh. Stop. Stop a clock. Woo! That is rapid. Three minutes twenty. Bloody hell. What a beast. That is way, that is way quicker than I thought it was gonna be to be fair. Let's see what the heart rate's saying. Woo! Don't know if you can see that. It's like 160. Jeez, that's a workout. Need a drink after that. And just so we can see, kind of like 15 PSI, which is what I was aiming for. That was actually way quicker than expected. A little tiny bit of perspiration, just nearly getting a bit of sweat going, but it's actually quite a warm, muggy day, even though it is overcast. And that's probably the worst thing about having to pump up your board manually, is just like the exertion, especially if you're wearing a wetsuit and it's a nice hot summer's day, and not only if you've got one paddleboard to do, but you've got like two or three to do, that's when it's a pain. Now after all that hard work, time to deflate, and see how the machine gets on. <laughs> Gonna make sure it's all out, make it a fair test. Right away, back down to zero. So here we go, man versus machine. I think I've set a pretty decent time to be fair, three minutes 20. I don't think it's gonna beat it. I've read that it takes about six to eight minutes to pump it up. It's gonna be going to 15 PSI again like me. And let's see how we get on. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> see how long it takes. That noise change is where it's going from like a low PSI to then pumping into a high PSI. It's got to work slightly harder. And whilst that's working away, I'm gonna show you in a bit more detail this electric sub pump. Now it all comes packaged really nicely. Inside you've got your user manual. Comes with this nice little unit, which is nice and compact and lightweight. It's got a little carry handle on there. Also different options for inflate and deflate. Little anti-vibration feet on the bottom. It feels nice and solid as well. It feels like it's very well built. And on the front you've got a big display to show your PSI readings, and then a couple of buttons, nice and simple, nothing too complex. And behind this cover here, you've got all your plugs for your input and your output. So you can actually use it as a normal sort of power bank just to even charge your phone, which is pretty cool. And then the rest of the stuff inside, you've got your chargers, so you can charge it at home and then take it out portably with you on the go. And then you've got your 12 volt DC adapter. You can plug it in directly to the car and use it from your cigarette lighter. And then finally, your hose and all your adapters for whatever paddleboard you've got. Just match it with the one that's already in your paddleboard. So this looks like this one. Then plug it in and you're good to go. Loads of different adapters for loads of different uses. You can use it for your kite, your tent, your mattress, wherever you may need it for. Now I don't know if you can see this monitor out here in the sun, but that's from 14 and a half. Put up to 15 PSI and just press go and it'll start pumping up. We just passed my time, 320, and the machine's at five PSI so far, so about a quarter of the way. Five minutes, nine PSI. 13 PSI in seven minutes. Now it's approaching 15 PSI, should have an automatic stop once it reaches that. We're approaching eight minutes. Oh, there you go. Seven minutes, 57. Not bad. 
peace is restored. And do you want to know my heart rate after pumping it up electronically? Low 60s, mid 60s if you can see that. Decent little bit of kit. So there we go. Good old faithful, the manual pump is a quicker option, but the electric pump is definitely a lot more easier. You can get on with other stuff whilst this is pumping up, you can pack your bags, you can get all the other stuff from the kit sorted. So this will be taking a spot in my kit moving cords, especially throughout the summers when it's hot and sweaty. I'm definitely going to be using this. I'm still going to have the manual pump just as a backup. It's also going to come in really handy when I've got multiple bores to pump up. It's going to make life a lot easier in that sense. And if you want to check them out, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description. Use my discount code more of Matt 10 to get 10% off your order. And thank you very much Outdoor Masters for sponsoring this video and supplying me with this awesome bit of kit. Now I'm off for a little paddle on the river. Hope you enjoyed this one. Remember, have fun, stay young, baby. You.